Hi, my name is Christian Roberts, and this is my usability test of selecting a college by using a website to do some research. The two websites that I chose to research was Boise State University and the University of Idaho. I began this search, by, or this test, by completing 10 different tasks for each website. And I will go talk you through the first task that I decided to use, which was to navigate to the degrees offered page of each website to research the degrees, required courses, and job outcomes. So I chose to uh, search for uh, civil engineering as a degree option. So let's take a look and see how this works. So here we are on the Boise State homepage. So we scroll down and you find, find your major link. So we click on that. Wait for it to come up. Oh, a bunch of thumbnails pump up. So let's search for civil engineering. It would be nice if these were in order. But here we go. Civil engineering. Here a page pops up. And you can read a little bit about it. And it talks about if you're interested in design, engineering, math, environment, construction, this could be for you. Or if you like to innovate, make decisions, build things, analyze numbers, lead others, or solve problems. So it tells you that this is offered in Boise, Idaho, and you can get a graduate degree, or, or it could be your major. Scroll down, we see over here on the right-hand side, some corp related careers to getting your civil engineer degree. You could be a construction manager, that's the top paying, civil engineer, architect, civil drafters, etc. Over here on the left, we see that you can get a master's of engineering in civil engineering, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, and then Master's of Science in Civil Engineering. Since we are assuming that we're new students, we're going to click on a bachelor, a bachelor of Science and see what this has to say. It appears that here's our course requirements, or program requirements, showing you all of the courses you can, you're going to need to take. Looks like 40 undergrad and 84 major requirements so these are all your courses and over here on the left it tells you you can print this page for future reference that's a good thing total of 124 credits are required takes this course through college of engineering within the civil engineering department and it gives you paragraphs of uh, your program learning outcomes okay let's switch over to university of idaho and see what theirs has to say Okay, on the University of Idaho page, you've got your prospective students drop down menu. Look at that, find a major, we'll click that. Scroll down, see what it has to say. There's an A to Z index, we'll click on that. Alphabetical list, let's scroll to uh, civil engineering, see what there is. Okay, if under civil engineering, we've got Bachelor of Science, Master's of Engineering, Master's of Science, and a PhD. Let's do the same for this one we did the last one. Let's go to the BS program, Bachelor's of Science. Okay, so down here, scroll down to the bottom. It looks like there's a degree fit drop down menu. This could be fit for you if you like math, getting involved in the world's infrastructure challenge, like to work with a variety of people to solve problems, make communities more sustainable and environmentally compatible. Let's go back up and uh, click to learn more. Okay, BS in civil engineering. Oh, here's a career menu, degree menu, financial, and get involved. Let's look at careers for a sec. Looks like uh, current job openings, 18,606. Most recent, okay. Salary range from $71,000 to $154,000 per year. Some of the jobs you can get as a civil engineering degree. Let's click on the degree. Okay, here we go. Looks like your degree roadmap. There's a link for a four-year plan and course catalogs. Click the four-year plan. Four-year plan. Uh-oh. We lost something. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Looks like it lays out your uh, degree courses for each semester over a four-year term. That's very handy to know. All right. 
So let's go back and look at. So let's look at the financials. On this here, it tells you uh, scholarships that are, looks like you could get if you're gonna wanna get this degree, paid employment related to your major, internships that are available, that's nice. Let's go to the next thing, get involved. Okay, getting involved. Hands-on learning experiences, clubs and organizations you can join. All right, looks like both of these websites are very informative. Um, I like the way both of them are set up really well. Um, I think that these are good learning tools for somebody who's just looking for a college to go to and this either one of these is a good option and good luck in finding a college. Thank you. Bye.